Hello everyone. Once again, thank you so much for viewing my video. Today, our topic for discussion is Demystified Digital Transceiver. This will be the part two series. I have done the part one series on the previous video. So if you want, you can take a look on that video before you come to this part two series. This is my email. If you have any question or any doubt on today's video, please send me an email. On the part one series, I have defined what is digital transceiver and I have went through the baseband processing of the transmitter. They are all naturally digital format. Today, I'm going to emphasize on the RF or the analog portion here. I'm going to concentrate on the modulator. I'm also going to explain to you why we need to have an up converter before we send the message over the air. So today our focus will be on the analog portion. So if you went through the part one series, you understand that the role of the modulator is to convert the, dig the digital data into analog data. Why we need to convert into analog data? When we want to send the message over the air, we need to convert the signal into electromagnetic wave. And that's the reason why we need to convert the data from digital into analog data. Let's take a look. On the left here is the string of digital data consists of one and zero. After the converter, it can be represented by an analog data as shown on the right here. Today, I'm going to show it to you there are three possible ways to convert the digital data into an analog data. So as mentioned, there are three ways and I'm going to show you the three ways. Okay, so any signal can be represented by this equation here. So you can see that there are three parameters that I can vary. First, I can vary the amplitude and when I vary the amplitude, it's called amplitude shift keying and I also can vary the frequency according to the message and when I change the frequency I actually call it frequency shift keying last but not least I can change the phase which is called the phase shift keying on the next three slides I'm going to explain what are all these three different types of shift keying so as mentioned earlier on, the key concept of modulator is to convert the digital data into analog data. So over here, for example, when the digital data is zero, I can represent by one straight line, no transmission. When the data is one, I can actually send a sine wave here. So there is another name for amplitude shift keying. It's also called an on-off key. As you can see, this is off and this is on, and therefore it is also called an on-off key. Let's take a look on the diagram below here. So as mentioned here, okay, so these are the string of data. So what happened here is basically when the message is one, I copy this waveform inside here. When the message is zero, I copy this waveform inside here. When it's a one, I copy this waveform inside and vice versa here. And from here, you can easily see that how I actually can convert the digital data into analog data by vary the amplitude. So this is called amplitude shift keying. Next, we have frequency shift keying. Again, for example, when the message is zero, I can use a lower frequency to represent it. When the message is one, I can actually represent it by a higher frequency. Again, take a look on the diagram below here. So again, this is a string of digital data and how I actually can convert into an analog data. Okay, if it's a message one, I just copy the message one with a higher frequency inside here. If it's message zero, I just copy the lower frequency here. And if it's message one, again, I copy the higher frequency here. And from here, you can also easily decode the message. This having a higher frequency, so I know it's one. 
this low frequency is zero, so I can decode the message as one zero one one zero one zero one. So basically, this is frequency shift keying. I change the frequency with respect to the digital data, and that's how I generate the analog output. Last but not least, phase shift keying. Again, this is a signal zero. I can, for example, at the edge, I can use a falling edge to represent a data that having a zero. And when the signal is one, I can represent by a leading edge of one, a uh, rising edge. So basically in short again, okay, I can actually represent the data. And if you take a closer look on one is basically a rising edge. On zero is a falling edge. Okay, on one here is a rising edge. And that's how I represent the data from digital into analog by looking whether is it a falling edge or the rising edge. So this method is called frequency shift keying. Okay, last but not least, what is the up converter? Okay, the role of up converter is to convert and amplify the baseband signal to a higher RF for transmission. Okay, why we need to do this? Okay, we can prevent interference okay, by spreading our frequency to unused frequency. Okay, we also can make our wavelength small, okay, which make our design small. Okay, so with this, I would like to end my video. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Bye.